Hey everybody, Mark Raven here from uh, Mark Raven's Mustache Wax. Everything backwards on the camera. There we go. So, um, I'm going to show you how to make this, uh, this fancy little bugger. This little pocket comb, man, it is so cool. I like it. It feels good when I comb with it. And don't worry. This is my own personal one. This was the first one I perfected. And um, I'm not going to sell you one that I've used. So you don't have to worry about that. But I really do enjoy it. And I'm so excited about it that I want to show you how I make it. Uh, so, I mean, you know, if you don't want to buy one from me, you can make it at home. If you have a table saw from the 1950s. I'll move the camera and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so for this, uh, I had uh, some scrap pieces of oak, and I needed to find something to do with them. And uh, I was just kind of looking around online, and I, I figured, hey, the cone would be pretty neat. So I cut it into uh, some strips, like so, and uh, I don't know, just kind of played with it until I made a comb that I liked. So, uh, I'm going to show you what I did. Let's, uh, let's make a comb. Alright, so, got this piece right here. Gonna need to make some measurements. So to make it strong enough that it won't break when you use it, you need to have uh, about a half inch thick bar at the top. So I'm going to go and I'm going to start by making this half inch bar. This is going to be a guide so I know where to stop cutting when I'm putting the teeth in. I'm literally just going to draw a line straight across the top in pencil. And that was a little crooked, so I'm going to straighten it out. There we go. That feels a little better. Alright, now for the teeth. I'll just measure. I'll get in the center, and then I'll measure from the center out. So that way, I'm sure everything's going to be even. Or at least as even as I can get it. Which puts us about there, so I'll put a mark in the center. Alright, I got all the markings for the uh, with the teeth ready to go. Just going to use uh, the same table saw I used before for making the uh, for the box. I might have to move the a little bit so I don't hit it. Put my teeth in. Alright, let's do it. Well, let's plug it in and then we'll Check that out. Isn't that cool? So now all we got to do is uh, pull out the Dremel, put some uh, notches on the teeth, and then sand the bejesus out of it. Hey, welcome back. So I'm going to put the grooves on the uh, on the teeth here. As you can see on here, they all kind of go off in one direction. And 
if you don't have that point on there that bevels in like that, then it's just kind of going to hit you and not pick up the hair. It's just going to just push the hair out of the way. We want these points so you can pick up the hair and pull it apart, get the knots out, fan it out, whatever, however you comb it, whatever you want to do. you you got to have it that way. So we're going to start with the, putting the points in. Just regular Dremel with a sanding point. Helps if you can, helps if you can see it. You can see it. Got our points on there. Now I'm gonna have to switch to uh, this guy here, my hand sander. He does a lot better job at uh, larger, flatter surfaces. Uh, it'll also work really good for rounding the edges and making everything smooth. Um, I will have to change camera positions when I go to make the bevel to flatten this out to a point or I guess to round it into a point um, because I'm going to need a heavy pressure and I just don't have that with the table I'm on right now. If I try to do that here, I'm going to rattle everything off my shelves and I don't want to do that. So <laughs> I'm going to move back over to uh, my table saw when the time comes for that. Which is very soon. Alright. I'm going to have to change spots now so I can put some heavy pressure down on here so I can flatten this out to a point. Alright, back here at my uh, table saw. This has got a nice heavy hard surface so everything shouldn't vibrate too much, I hope. And uh, let's sand this down. Alright, we have a good head start, but what I really want to do now is put on a coarser sandpaper to help me grind this down a little bit faster. I'll then switch back to the smoother sandpaper to finish everything off. We've got that smoothed down or thinned out enough that I can go ahead and finish that up with the uh, with the finer um, sandpaper. So we're going to swap these back out now. just about there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in between each of the teeth by hand with another thin piece of sandpaper and uh, I can do that back over at the bench. So I'm going to go switch cameras again and be back soon. Welcome back. So here we are again with the, uh, the comb that we're working on. We're going to 
just take a regular piece of sandpaper here and just kind of run it through all the edges. Go ahead and bend this down so you can see everything. finished at least as far as that part goes all right put the sanding paper away and I'm gonna pull out a fresh glove because it's time to lacquer this bad boy that'll give it that nice shine you can see the difference here this one has been lacquered it it just it really brings out the richness in the wood so we're gonna go ahead and do that to this one and uh, man, it's gonna look sharp. All right, so getting out my lacquer. It's gonna look so good. I'm excited. No, I'm almost out. I need to get more. So I don't recommend anybody doing it like this. But I'm just gonna set the container down because there's so little in there that it will actually be okay and not roll out all over the table and I'm just going to kind of dip a q-tip in here and then rub it on Alright, there you have it. This one's all uh, anchored up. They look very similar now. But, at the same time, they are also very different. If you look at the uh, at the way the arch is in them, there are some slight variances. You know, the teeth slightly different but for the most part they're the same uh, but you know it'll be unique to you and you'll get used to where the grooves and the crevices are when you're using it so you know when you're coming you'll you'll develop a certain way that you enjoy holding it so that it just feels better on you uh, yeah that's it now you gotta comb Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, ask them.